Good morning. Seems like I upset a lot of people yesterday. Like, really pissed them off. All I can say is, I am really, really not sorry. But anyway, let's continue on. Um, I may, I, I can't remember where I read it, but there is a man in Texas um, that recently um, killed his, I'm sorry, unalived his um, wife or girlfriend or significant other, I can't remember, um, for having an abortion. Now, I'm not going to say whether I'm pro-life or pro-choice. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, no one should be killed over this. There's a lot of state legislatures that would like for it to be a death penalty case if you ha if they find out that you have one. I think that's a little um, extreme um, considering they're pro-life. Is it just pro-fetus? Pro-baby? If you're pro-life, you're pro-life. That includes the mother, I would assume. But what do I know? Um, and, okay, so here we are. Some states want it to be a death penalty case. <clears throat> and the man in Texas, because he's in Texas, will no doubt get away with it. So here's my um, fix. How about it, we make S.A. violators, people that S.A. others, whatever, right, uh, gender, that's also a death penalty case. How about that? If you commit S.A. and you're caught, it's automatically an unaliving case. How's that? Seems fair. I mean, there's a lot of um, abortions that happen due to SA. So I would think maybe that would cut down on both SA and abortions. So I think that's that's a reasonable a reasonable fix. What do you guys think? <laughs>